Number 9. A drum rotates around its central axis at an angular velocity of 12.6 radians per second. If the drum then slows at a constant rate of 4.2 radians per second square, how much time does it take? And letter B, through what angle does it rotate in coming to rest? Okay, so this is a problem of constant angular acceleration. And when the angular acceleration is constant, you can see, right? Constant rate. And when the angular acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are theta equal to theta zero plus omega zero t plus alpha t squared over two. We can also use omega equals to omega zero plus alpha t omega squared equals to omega o squared plus two times two times alpha two times alpha delta theta okay so those are the three equations that we have when the angular acceleration is constant so the trick here that i always use you just circle the things that you don't know for example the initial angular position we can say in this case it's zero so we know this value so it says that uh, the initial angular velocity we know so we know this over here the time we don't know the acceleration we know and the time we don't know the final angular position we don't know as well okay so the final angular uh, speed we do know because it goes to rest so the this final value is zero the initial one we know the acceleration no and t we don't know so this one is we know is zero we know this value which is 12.6 we know the acceleration and we don't know delta theta okay so it's clear now that if we want the time how much time letter a we are going to use this equation and if we want the angle we are going to use this equation over here that's why I recommend you to just circle the things that you don't know, so it's pretty easy to see what you have to use. Right, so let's use this equation over here. So we have that zero is equal to the initial angular velocity plus alpha t, we want t. So t is going to be minus omega over omega zero, uh, omega zero over t so over alpha sorry over alpha so this is going to be minus 12.6 over the acceleration however take take into account that the acceleration is slowing down the the drum so it is a negative angular acceleration so minus 4.2 and this is going to be equal to 3 seconds so that's the answer of letter a three seconds for letter b we can use this equation over here or this one if you want because now we have the value of t but i'm going to use this one so zero equals to the initial angular speed squared plus two times alpha delta theta so delta theta is equal to minus omega o square divided by 2 times alpha this is going to be minus 12.6 squared divided by 2 times minus 4.2 and this view gives us let's see this gives us uh, 18.9 radians and that's the answer of letter b